whatever you want to do. <laughs> no, no, no. This is Holly, everybody. Psycho hey. Sisters. How Chris, are you? Doing good. Just messing around today, filming some stuff. Yeah. You know, Christmas coming up. I wanted to give I you. I know. Yeah. Can you tell? Yeah, I like the hat. Thanks. And the dog's in red. Yes. Not his official Christmas sweater, but it works. It's nice. We're getting in the, in the spirit of the season. So how is the Christmas season? Um, okay. Up and down. Depends on the day. So we had a, a good Black Friday weekend. It's been a little quiet since then, so ready for people to uh, remember the local folks and come shop downtown again. I think it's been pretty quiet all over downtown the last week or two. So what do you do on Christmas? Uh, just get together with family, eat, hang out, low key. Put on some weight. Try not to. Cook. Definitely eat though. Right. Sounds like fun. We enjoy it. Deacon gets to wear a Santa suit. Deacon's really cute. That's Thanks. A cute dog. How old is that dog? He's about six. How long you had him? About six years. Really? Mm -hmm. so you got him when he's a baby. I did. Is that your only dog? He is. It's a beautiful dog. Thank you. Well, I came in here so you could wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I could do that. Well, why don't you do that? Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from Psycho Sisters. That was very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. Have a great one, Dave. Thank you. Auto Works. Hey, this is Amanda at Southeastern Auto Works. We just wanted to let you know why you're getting your car painted or your dents and things car. We can also do mechanical work on your car, such as brakes and rotors and drums, and we can also do oil changes. So if you want to come down and see us, you can come to 10 Eagles Court, Cartersville, Georgia, 30120, or you can call us at 770-606-0665. Thanks so much. Hey folks, Bob Smith, the owner of the City Cellar Restaurant here in Cartersville, Georgia. Hey, I want you to know we got a train going by here. We got train shots. Every time the train goes by, we ring a bell, get a train shot for a dollar. I got live music on Thursday nights down here. I got some jazz, I got some acoustics. Friday night and Saturday night, man, what a blast we have upstairs in the loft. Local talent showing their wares. Y'all gotta come see it. It's good stuff. The best north of Atlanta. Sabrina, this is very neat. I mean, they got, I want to circle all around in here. Isn't he from Cartersville? I'm from Cartersville. I love 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 Cartersville. Hi. Good. All right, Sabrina, what are you doing in here? What is what is going on? Um, well, right now we are taking place in Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. um, 
we are we have our Jewish market shops that are open. We wanted everybody to get kind of a hands-on experience of what the night that Jesus was born was kind of like going on. Uh, we have the prophet spreading the rumor, the uprising of the king, and um, we have the animals as you can see. And basically, what we're trying to do is we found that with BBS we can bring um, through the experience, the hands-on experiences, the children learn and really grasp what we were trying to teach them about God's love and sharing that message. And so what we wanted to do was we wanted to open that experience up, not just to the children, but their families as well. I think you did a very good job. Thank you. Thank this, you. This is just, like, what's that over there? This right here is our dove shop. Um, That's your what? Gun shop? What is it? Dove. Dove? The doves, like the birds. Oh, okay, okay. That is uh, Miss Katie there. She's going to release the doves at the end of, and they're going to fly home to her, so. Okay. Sabrina, all right. Thank you, Sabrina. I'm going to walk you. around and look at your stuff. Thank You're you. Great. Right. Thank you. What are you doing with this? Whoa! <laughs> what is that? It's a llama. And why are you walking around the marketplace with a llama? I'm trying to sell him. It's a beautiful llama. Thank you. So you're, you hope, I hope you find a buyer. I, I do too. He will carry a lot of wares along, all around in Bethlehem. You don't have much money right now, or what? Well, we could barter. You can barter? Mm -hmm. I think it's making me nervous. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We're in the marketplace of Bethlehem. What, what do you do here? I'm the prophet. I foretell the coming of the Messiah. Okay. When do you see that happening? I foretold it will come within the next hour. Within the next hour? Within the next hour. Really? So that's going to happen right here in the marketplace? Yes, right here. So is this your job? Is this What does a prophet do 2,000 years ago? Do you sit around and prophesy or what do you do? Yes, he, t he tells things that's, that's going to come. Like the coming of the Messiah and famine that's coming. And good things that come also. Do you do this for money or do you do... No, I do this for love. For love. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you. Okay, what do you, what do you uh, uh, ladies do here in uh, Bethlehem? Well, uh, we are the Jewish dancers. Jewish dancers. And we dance around the town. We grab, we grab people and we dance with them, teach them how to dance. We dance all day around the marketplaces. And we just make people have a fun time. In Bethlehem. Yeah. Uh, 2,000 years ago. That's what y'all do. Yes. Was that commonplace or what? I mean, did women really do this? Or y'all just, I mean, did they do this? Yes, they did do this. Just danced in the marketplace. All day long. All day long. What were you like, entertainment or something? Yes, yes. we're entertainment. Okay, what's your name? I'm Holly. I'm Katie. Nice to meet you both. You nice too. To meet you. Hey, good evening. Welcome to the uh, synagogue. This, this is the traditional synagogue that we have in our, in our little town of Bethlehem. And what we do is we come here and worship. Uh, the high priest reads from the sacred scrolls which we have here. This would be the Torah, which would be the Old Testament writings, and, and young boys would be required to memorize the Torah before they were able to go on into man to become a man. Um, we like the Hanukkah, we like the Hanukkah menorah, which would be the the candelabrum representing the eight days of Hanukkah. Hanukkah is celebrated by the Hebrews because of the victory in the Battle of the Maccabees. But after the Battle of the Maccabees, what happened was the temple was destroyed. And it was we had to rebuild it and we had to clean it up. 
And when we did, all we could gather were eight day or it was one day's worth of olive oil. But we needed it to last eight days. And it would be eight days before we could make some more. So we go we went ahead and lit one of the candles and it burned for eight days. And so now we light a candle each day to represent those eight days that it took to get the olive oil to burn the menorah. We also have here a dreidel, which would be a traditional uh, Hebrew toy for a young boy or a young girl to play with, and they just kind of spin it like a top. And it spins, and it lands on a certain letter of the Hebrew alphabet. This landed on a gemel. Gemel is equivalent to the word or the letter G in the Hebrew uh, scriptures. And what they would do is they would look that up in the Torah and find what was under the gemel, and they would read that and recite the, uh, the, the sacred scriptures there. Thank you very much. No problem. Like like you said, this is the uh, this is the temple. Inside we have the Holy of Holies. But we can't go in there. We can only go in there one time a year, and that would be on Yom Kippur. So this is just kind of a representation of what we have there. Enjoy your time in Bethlehem. Thank you. Frank, you know, book smarts are great, but it really takes common sense to be competitive in today's business market. For 28 years, the IT professionals at Common Sense Computers have been designing software and integrating systems for all types of businesses. Whether you're using a database, mobile applications, or shop floor automation, let Common Sense help you solve your IT needs. Check out our website at www.commonsensesolutions.com and see what common sense can do for your business. Craig Millsap is joining us. How you doing, Chief? Oh, doing great, and you? I'm doing good. How long have you been the Chief? Uh, going on seven years now. Time really flies. What'd you do before this? I had been with Amulet Service for about 15 years. I had been Deputy Director with the Emergency Management Agency here in Bartow. Had also been a firefighter, uh, working with the fire department during all that time as well. So I filled a lot of areas in public safety as far as the county goes. This week, it's very cold outside definitely cold and the problems we see with that cold have been coming with it as well you know uh, our line of work with the fire department and everything right here at the holidays especially when there's the cold snaps you know we run into uh, a lot of problems with with space heaters things like that that people are using especially you know, on a day like today to try to keep warm when they just with the gas prices and things that are up and uh, but then at the same time we have the decorations and the packages and all the Christmas uh, ornaments and things that are out at this time that sometimes you get that gap that's just too close to those space heaters and things like that and it has that large potential for fire. Are you seeing any fires? We are seeing some. We're also seeing some chimney fires. You know, uh, a lot of times people don't think about the, the maintenance aspect of a fireplace like uh, they did years ago when it was one of the main ways of heating houses and stuff. And you, you develop that buildup of creosol and things in that chimney that can start a fire. So, you know, we advocate really to, to use those cleaning logs and to also, if you have the masonry type fireplace, to have your, your chimney swept by, by registered license chimney sweep and uh, for those things. So that little bit of maintenance could, could definitely go a long way in preventing, you know, a, a calamity at this time of year. What are other some other little things that people are just overlooking or just don't think about they need to keep an eye on them? You know, th this time of year with, with the gatherings and things, we, we run a lot of extension cords. I know you, you hear that thing because, you know, everybody wants their place to look pretty uh, with those things. And, and the thing we run into is a lot of times they don't have the right equipment for what they're trying to do. They overload circuits as far as their outlets. Uh, you know, they have a, a, a drop cord that's plugged into something that requires a, a heavier gauge wire. And so all those are, are fire hazards we see this time of year. 
how many firemen are in this uh, county? Are you the whole county? Or, I mean, uh, yes, the whole county. have 13 uh, full-time stations, uh, one volunteer station. We have 96 full-time employees and about uh, 30 volunteers still. Is it running, do, you have, do you have a lot of people applying for these jobs? Uh, yes, uh, yeah, that is one thing right now. I know during the initial cuts of the recession and stuff, a lot of the fire departments laid off firefighters. Uh, luckily, we have not had to go to that drastic of a measure. But, uh, you know, uh, years past when I first became chief and we actually did hire people, you, we would see a lot of young guys, you know, fresh out of school, things like that. But now, you know, I see, see applications that come across my desk from veteran firefighters with 10, 15 years service that had been officers at other departments that are looking for a job. And people don't quit fire. No, nope, that's it. It, it. Once it's it's in your blood, it, it keeps passed on. You know, we're starting to see a lot of second and third generation firefighters whose fathers and grandfathers had worked with the county, and, and now the, their their sons and grandsons are are coming into the fire service and, and and making good firefighters for us. Chief Millsap, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Realty LLC is your go-to place in Bardo County for buying, selling, leasing, and renting all types of commercial, industrial, retail, and office properties. Mark Harris and Charlie Harper have over 38 years of combined experience in meeting your needs. Along with them, H&H &H has one of the top retail and office leasing specialists in Elizabeth Wiggins. While H&H &H Realty LLC prides itself on its personal one-on-one -on -one service, it also has the ability to market and search on a nationwide basis, utilizing a wide array of data sources. We'll be there with you every step of the way, making sure the job is done to your satisfaction. H&H &H Realty LLC. Your success is our business. This is Karen Lent. She's with Evelyn and Ashley. How you doing, Karen? Great. How are you? Have not spoken to you in a while. So what's what's new in your world? Um, nothing much. Baby's being born. Baby's growing out of the store. Sad times. <laughs> so is business good? It's good. It's good. Um, it always dies off at Christmas, though. Boy, does it die off. Everybody runs off to Belk and Ross and Walmart and... I get left in the cold. So who promotes you? I know downtown Cartersville, they have the Downtown Development Authority, which promotes all that downtown. Thank who's you. who's helping you? Nobody. <laughs> I'm on my own. Because <laughs> you're out here on Tennessee Street. Yes, I am. I'm like the forgotten love child of Cartersville. <laughs> Tennessee Street is anyway. That's not really fair, is it? No, it's sad. When you think about it, but it's just, yeah, they have all that help. and. I tried a couple times to kind of, I went to a couple of their meetings and I tried a couple times to kind of get the word out about us being here, not just us, but just all of Tennessee Street, because there's a lot of places on Tennessee, um, but nada. <laughs> Are you getting more traffic since all that work on 41? Um, yes, actually, it was kind of funny because I didn't even realize I don't go on 41 much. I try to just hit Tennessee in the back uh, roads, and I noticed Tennessee Street was getting blocked up for quite a few days in a row, and I was going, what is going on? And then I... Happened to try to go down 41 one day, got caught up in traffic, and discovered the reason. And uh, it did seem like a lot more people discovered us. We had a busier November than usual. Good. Yeah. They need to work on it some more. Then. I know, huh? <laughs> Keep blocking people off and making them come this Keep way. it tied up till next uh, summer. Exactly. All right, wish everybody a Merry Christmas out there. Merry Christmas, everyone. Have a great and wonderful new year. Good to see you, Karen. Good to see you. JDH Electric. At JDH Electric, we can service all of your electrical needs. If it's in your home, your office, your industrial facility, anywhere that you currently need electrical service, we can help you. If you need electrical service, give us a call, 770-607-6900. At JDH Electric, we look forward to serving you for this generation. Generations to come.
gift a long time in waiting. We've been very anxious uh, for this evening and to get in this building and let our students of Bartow County Schools have everything that they deserve and desire uh, for their education here. So I want to thank each and every one of you for coming this evening. Uh, we've got a very special night uh, planned here to, to thank everyone. But first and foremost, to thank you uh, for helping to provide us with this facility. Without you, we couldn't have done it, uh, taken care of this and done it in the fashion in which we've been able to. Training within a group. 